Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a king and his people. He was a good man and his people loved him dearly. They obeyed every of his rules because they knew that he was a very wise king and would never mislead them. The king had ruled for so many years. He had two sons, DK and Okena. DK being the older son was always advised specially by his father on how to run the kingdom because he was to be the next heir to the throne. His father told him some secrets that would always keep the kingdom going. But the king had one worry. He was bothered about DK because he was a very arrogant son. He always believed that he was right and didn't need the advice of anyone to live his life. The king advised him severally against being arrogant as it would lead him nowhere, but he refused to take heed to his father's advice. According to the traditions of the land, the heir to the throne must be married before ascending the throne. So DK and Okena got married around the same period and in no time DK's wife bore him a son. This gladdened the king's heart as he believed that the marriage would make his sons more responsible. The king took that opportunity to also show his sons the land that belonged to them. He also shared some of the land between his sons. The king was now old and fell ill. He called his two sons into his room one day and advised them to never be divided but always united because people achieve more when they are united as opposed to when they are divided. He told DK to always work together with his brother and the chiefs of the kingdom and to always seek their counsel when necessary because running a kingdom cannot be done alone because no one knows it all. He advised DK to be in union with his brother because he realized over the years that DK was always in a competition with his younger brother, Okena. Some weeks later, the king passed away. His passing devastated the entire village as he was one of the best kings they had had in a long time. They all mourned him and after a while, DK was coronated as the new king of the kingdom. The villagers were not very happy about the new coronation because they knew DK was not fit for that position but they all hoped for the best. DK being the new king of the kingdom gave him so much pride and arrogance even more than before. He felt like he was on top of the world. He went about the village with his guards, ordering the villagers around and putting fear within them. If anyone got him upset, he would either set their house on fire or force them to do hard labor. The villagers detested him so much and complained among themselves as there was no higher authority to complain to other than DK who was already giving them a tough time. The only person DK really cared about other than himself was his son Chidi. He always did everything for Chidi and made him happy but neglected his people. Chidi was also loved by his uncle Okena. Whenever Okena got back home in the evening, Chidi would always run to his room to spend time with him. Sometimes, Okena and the village chiefs tried talking to DK about his attitude. They told him that if his father, the late king, were still alive, he would never approve of what DK was doing. They advised him to try listening to the cries of the villagers as they were all suffering but he told them that he was the king and no one had the right to tell him what to do. They had to leave him alone since he wasn't willing to listen to them. DK's wife Chidima didn't make matters any better. 
as she was the one fueling his pride and arrogance. Anytime he wanted to have pity on the people and reduce their burden, she would tell him that he was not acting like a real man and the people would see him as a weakling. This made him get tougher and tougher day by day, just to prove that he was king. Sometimes, he would wonder to himself why the people don't love him and he would try to force them to love him and respect him. He forgot that his father was a kind and considerate man and would always listen to the cries of the people. This made the people show his father so much love and loyalty without having to force them. But he saw that as a sign of weakness. Okena, on the other hand, showed the people so much love and always pleaded on his brother's behalf, telling the people to be patient with his brother and he would still change for the better. The people loved and cherished Okena and they wished he was their king. When DK heard about this, it got him really angry because this was what he had always wanted from the people but couldn't get it. One day, DK made a law that the villagers would start bringing to the palace half of their farm proceeds. This got the villagers so angry because they usually harvested very few crops which were not even enough to feed their family. And now, King DK was asking them to bring half of what they told for. They couldn't take the oppression any longer and they began protesting. They sent delegates to the chief priests to help them, but he told them that the gods haven't said anything about what was happening yet. The people decided to take power into their own hands and they went to the king's palace and protested against the unfair treatment and demanded for a new king. When DK and his wife Chidima heard the people protesting, they both got very upset and felt threatened that the villagers were asking for a new king. After a while, the protest subsided and Okena came home that evening from visiting a friend. He had heard about the protest and wanted to discuss with his brother DK on how to make life easier for the people. But DK was not in the mood for that. He left Okena and went into his room. Okena also left and went into his room to shower and eat the food that was kept for him on his table. While he was in the bathroom to shower, Chidi, his nephew, went into his room to stay with him as they always did every evening. Chidi saw the food left for Okena on the table and decided to eat it as he was hungry. By the time Okena was done having his bath, he came out to see Chidi coughing out blood. He was shocked and ran to alert everyone. They all rushed into Okena's room to see what was going on and by the time DK's wife saw her son and the food he ate, she screamed and started crying. She knew what had happened and she and DK came out to confess what they did. She said that she prepared the food herself and poisoned it, hoping that when Okena got back home, he would be very hungry and would eat it. They wanted to poison him because they saw him as a threat to their throne, but they never knew their son would eat the food and die. Everyone found it really difficult to believe that DK and Chidima would go to that extent just to protect the throne. In the history of their kingdom, it had never been heard of that a king tried to poison his brother. DK was the first. This single act made the people to dethrone him and they crowned Okena their new king. DK's wife ran away out of shame while DK was kept in a dungeon to suffer. The villagers celebrated their new king and everything turned around for good. What we can learn from this story is that 
we should always avoid being jealous because it takes away from our happiness and we should always take heed to the advice of our parents as it will guide us to the right path. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe and turn on your post notification to get notified when next I post a new video. Bye!